Yo, what is going on, 67? Let's go. Today we're doing tilt because we did a uh, a try our Thursday on a Wednesday yesterday. It's all messed up, but that's okay. We're doing tilt on Thursday till I lose Thursday, man. We're doing it on Medusa. Let me get my hair tie off my fingies. By the way, these hair ties are so small, I wear them like this. No sexual in innuendo. I'm just saying they are very tiny. Um, I think I'm gonna just go Griffin. I'm gonna do a little Griffin play here. I low key think. Why is my monitor like this? Hold on, I gotta move my monitor a bit. Um, I low key think that I should potentially go. I can't. I can't figure out my monitor setup. This is ridiculous. Just gonna. I'm just gonna go shell. <laughs> um, I should potentially go mana pots here, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And this is probably the first really good god I've ever done on tilt. And the reason being, uh, I've done like almost all the bad gods. Also, holy jeepers. The patch uh, that's coming out on Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever patches come out or whenever they are released. He's trying to juke me, but he's just walking into every auto attack and getting owned. You're gonna do your blue. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Uh, do I actually get this? Or are you gonna pop out of the woodworks and try to steal it? Or no? All right, cool. Um, the patch that's coming out on Tuesday, man, it is, that is crazy. Like, Ansile's back, a shifter shield is back, um, bruiser items fully back, Fatalis is back and purchasable on Hunters, uh, Fail Not is purchasable on Hunters, Erendite is purchasable on Hunters, Erling Shen has his knockup back, like, dude, there is there is so much going on in the next patch like arguably too much i'd say no not too much but like a lot and you know what's cool about it though is um well okay there's a lot of issues with it as well i'm not gonna say it's all good there's a lot of issues with it as well like hoi like a lot of good dual gods are getting involved so what if i just chuck this at you though okay a lot of really good, like already S tier dual gods are getting buffs. I'm gonna hit the tower so you can't back. Um, I think that's probably overall a negative. I'm not gonna lie to you, but at least they're making dramatic changes because they see the drop off of player base. I would be more worried. I, I would be more worried about subtle changes while the player base is getting dramatically lower every month um and if you look at just the steam player charts like which i know oh hello you don't win this because i just got griffin wing you also had griffin wing why did i win that so hard <laughs> he altered me and i won it so hard a red buff that's why i figured it out um but if you just look on Steam player charts, uh, Smite is going down by about an average of like 12, oh, like 10 to 12% of player base per month, like month over month, which is very scary if you're in my position. Uh, like you could probably already tell. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, ouch. Okay. I just let him kill me for some reason. You could probably already tell just by in the videos the past couple uh days or, or weeks or so but the videos get less views you know streams get less views <clears throat> obviously i make significantly less money than i did before um and the you know like that's why it's so scary for me because my job my job isn't to create content like a lot of you think it is my job is to play smite you know <laughs> like like if i if i'm not playing smite i'm not doing my job and i know that uh, when I when I stream like Kingdom Hearts or something, I know I'm making a poor decision. But um, oh my goodness. 
Wait, how did he... How did he do that? Because I had red buff on. My alt hit harder? My autos hit harder? Oh, I didn't have Viper shot for him because I had it for the red buff. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Viper shot did 400. That's fair. But my point is... I would be more nervous if they were making subtle changes while this kind of issue is happening rather than um, making dramatic changes to try to combat said issue. Now, I know that majority of Smite players are not on Steam. I know that most of them are console players. Um, and so reading off only the Steam charts is not a correct correlation to the actual player base. However, I can only imagine based off of the Steam charts the console player base is about similar. Um, not to mention the amount of people that have come to me on stream or in videos or, you know, whatever. Um, and they've just said, hey, Sam, I don't play Smite anymore, but I still enjoy your content sometimes. You know, like, the sometimes is the important part. You know, they'll watch like one video every two weeks or something instead of every video for two weeks. You know what I mean? Like, it's a big difference. So I'm glad that these changes are big and that it's going to, it's going to switch things up a bit, make things a lot more fun. Um, also in case you haven't noticed, I've actually lost over the course of the past five months, I've lost a thousand subscribers. Like, I don't know. It's not an average of a lot of day. It's like two or two to five a day or something. But, um, if you do actually enjoy the content and you're not subscribed, I know a lot of people will just like go to the homepage on YouTube. And they'll be like, yeah, I'm subscribed, but you're like genuinely actually not subscribed for some reason. Um, nice. Uh, like I've done that with a lot of creators like Northern Lion for a long time. I wasn't even subscribed to him because I just every single day YouTube knew I wanted to watch Northern Lion videos. So I would just open YouTube and on the homepage, there would be a Northern Lion video. Um, so if you guys are not subscribed, try to help combat the loss of subscribers, either based on my personality or the lack of, uh, good my gameplay. Um, he's doing more damage than me. He is tier two though. That's why. Ooh, nice. That was a good kill. Um, oh, he's just going to surrender. Yeah, if you would, please subscribe. Please like the video. Both of those things help tremendously towards pushing the algorithm. If you subscribe because of a video, like under a video, it gets pushed in the algorithm way further. And same thing for liking consecutive videos in a row. If you like this video and you like next video, <laughs> it lets YouTube know that my channel is good and we'll push it out a bit more. So please like the video, go on your, your friends' accounts, your mom's accounts, your sister's accounts, your brother's accounts. Go like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you in advance, and I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what is going on, gamer gamers? How are you guys doing, gamer gamers? Um, I'll go golden shard again. I actually didn't mind. I didn't mind the uh, the golden shard. I kind of lean towards horn shard a lot because I I. I'm kind of a cooldown whore. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this about me. If I don't have max cooldown in my build, I feel like my build is not good, which is not true. Uh, just so you know, a lot of times, um, a full damage build is is arguably even better than a uh, oh. you've just been cooked. You have just been cooked. He thought he could kill me, but it's not happening that way. I am Medusa. Uh, but a lot of times... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> does, someone, does someone remind me in the comments and I'll respond? Maybe. Okay, that's just not nice. All right, uh, he, he's, he's going to surrender. 
There's no way. Like, I'm doing far too much damage. Oh, I was saying about my builds and how I always need cooldown in them, but, like, you don't always need cooldown in your builds. Um, and it's kind of a flaw of me, to be completely honest. I tried to level my ult so fast and then use it, and I leveled my freaking three with these chubby little chipmunk fingers, man. Gosh darn it. Just gosh darn it. I have two points on my three, man. Who does that? What kind of Medusa players dash into clear wave? No. I'll show you. Me, apparently. Like a psycho. Full damage builds are really good. I like them, but I like them only kind of on mages. I'm going to go Pestilence, actually. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go Aussie right now. I'm going to start ripping a Pesty, and then after a Pesty... I'll go Aussie. I, I mean, do I need Aussie? I could just go, like... I could just go Crusher. And do, like, infinity damage. Hello. Ah. He didn't even turn. But you're not even five yet, brother. I'm seven. Wait. Ah. He just hit level five. I feel kind of bad. I feel a little bit bad about this. He's just walking at me. You know, I probably should have seen this coming. Um, because he banned Hun Bats and Tiamat. <laughs> and it, the, the weirdness didn't stop there. But I just forget. I forget the others. But he did ban Hun Bats and Tiamat. So I should have probably seen this coming. Also, I didn't change skins because I like this skin a lot. And um, you're dead, by the way. Um... I like this skin a lot, and whenever you alt, it changes forms into three different forms. So technically, it's three different skins, and it's pretty sick, if you ask me. Not that you did. We'll change. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, and those cheeks, though. Oh my god, they are cooking. They are cooking over in the art department. By the way, I had someone recently that that said when I look at characters asses in game, it's cringe and it's sexist. Uh, I just want you to know whoever said that, that there's no one who appreciates a good ass more than women. So I, I don't think it's sexist. And appreciating a good ass as a man also does not make you sexist. Just saying. <laughs> Even if it's a drawn ass. He's got wards. I do feel pretty bad about this. I feel like maybe I should give him a kill. Wait, he threed his... Oh, he thought I was hiding. Oh, poor guy, dude. He thought I was hiding. Hello. Dude, Medusa with Fatalis is back in the next patch, and that is terrifying. I do so much damage. All right. Well, I wonder if I altered if he would have died, actually. I knew, I knew he was waiting for me to do it, and I knew he really wanted to wrap me. I just knew it. I knew it. 
he wanted to try to catch me off guard but i had a feeling in my brain that if i alt he's gonna look into it like he's gonna die <laughs> i don't know why i just had the feeling it was itching it was itching not bad see you guys next game yo what's up boys we are back with gazing archon not gonna lie almost a glazing um <clears throat> i'm i'm feeling pretty comfy dude i don't know why <laughs> i don't know what in my brain wanted me to say confi as opposed to confident but something in my brain was like yeah yeah sam what if you said confi instead of confident that showed just how confident you are. That's just in my brain. That's what happened. Confi is also a food, isn't it? Confi. Confi as a cooking term describes when food is cooked in grease, oil, or sugar water at a low temp instead of deep frying. It's a type of cooking. It's a cooking style. Apparently, it's also a, a dentist in Wallingford CT, which I assume is Connecticut. Confi Kids is a financial assistance for low-income children. It, there's a lot of different Confis, brother. That's a that's a lot of Confi. Hey, are you are you typing to me? You're just paused while I'm talking about Confi. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I get it. No, that's cool. I get it. I'm going to go hang out at Red Buff. If you come over here. Honestly, you'll probably see me from a mile away. Because I am glowing, dude. I am freaking glowing. Uh, should I invade him? I feel like I could probably invade him pretty successfully. I don't know about killing him. But definitely successful invade. I should have gone horrific here, by the way. I would shell because I'm a little bitch, but like, I do think horrific could work. I'm not going to invade. We'll make it a more competitive game by not invading. All right. Now I just got to slowly auto this down. Actually cleared significantly faster than him. The light burns. Ouch. Oh god, I took a tower shot for no reason. Cheapers, man. That was not smart. Yo, what does that start? <laughs> Enchanted Spear Start. Not something I've ever seen before. I'm not hating on it. But it is new. I feel like wouldn't a Warlock Staff start or the Tier 2 Warlock Staff start be better? Or if, like, honestly, just going Doom Orb? Doom Orb is a great item. A lot of people don't buy it. And I assume it's because they don't like, want to acknowledge the fact that Doom Orb is so powerful. But that is a great item. If I turn the corner and just alt your ass, what happens? Like if I just try, yeah, I two on that thing. Okay, well nothing happened because I suck. All right, I put one extra point in my one, by the way, just to see if I could get the kill, but I couldn't. But I do have Griffin Wing plus a Chalice, and he is—I assume he has a finished item. That's not going to be a divine, right? What? That can be the Spear of the Magus. Or Deso? Like, I understand in Conquest. Because cooldowns. What about when you're not in Conquest, though? When not in Conquest, it doesn't do enough. You don't have the starter item to either give you extra damage or sustain. Um, the proc literally does nothing because like if after you kill me, why do you need your cooldowns up, right? Um, I don't know. That's weird. It's a weird start. 
I guess it is a very good item. 15 magical pen is kind of crazy. Like 15 base pen. That does go a very long way. Into breastplate. All right. Quality. I'm just going to go Aussie. Never mind. That's expensive as hell. Actually, by the time that I type in Pesty and buy tier two of it, I could I could have just gotten tier two Aussie. So I'm just going to wait for it. Please. Fingers. You know what's crazy? I've been playing games basically my entire life. Better not be a red. I've been playing games basically my entire life. Like, I'm not even kidding. When I was like... Uh, I don't know. He altered the way. When I was like three, maybe even two, I started fucking gaming, okay? And a lot of people are always like, Sam, you spend so much time on the computer. You're going to get carpal tunnel, but I've been streaming for 10 years. <laughs> I've been streaming for a decade and my hands are fine, man. The only times my hands kind of hurt, like at all, is if I do a lot of like hand related activities. Oh, uh, you're dead, by the way. Oh, you have Aegis. Okay, just Aegis. Oh, if I do a lot of hand related activities all in the same day. And I mean like, <clears throat> when I say hand related, don't get dirty. I just meant like if I train my grip strength at the gym and then I'll like do a 10 hour stream and then I'll play a game on a controller and then I'll do like, I don't know. I'll do something after. Then maybe the next day I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a little sore. But it's almost not even, like, it's not even my hands that are sore. I'm not scared of any damage you deal. I'm not scared of any damage he deals. I could probably kill him, to be honest. But it would be a little bit risky, and I'm not... I'm not in the, uh, the category of risk right now. Oh, I just threw my... I just threw my hair tied down on the ground. It's, it's Jover. I'll never recover financially. Wait. Never mind. I was going to say that I think my mic might be lowered because I was playing Kingdom Hearts yesterday and I lowered my mic for it um, because I like story. But I'm pretty sure I turned it back up. Also, I heard the worst take possible. Hold on. Let me clear this wave. I heard the worst take possible recently and someone was like, uh, well, okay. One of my friends was like, Hey, should I play Baldur's Gate three or Elden Ring next? And I said, well, are you more invested in a story or the gameplay aspect of, of the game you want to play? And he was like, well, it's a story. If it's an actual good story, I was like, okay, well then play Baldur's Gate three, because that has a good story. And if you like story more then then play that. And you know what some random person butted in and said, you know what they said to me? Who, by the way, I wasn't even talking to them and they still yapped to me. Bunch of psychos. They said, if you want a story, watch a movie. Games are for gaming. And like, just how wrong can a single person be? You know what I mean? Just how, how wrong can one human being be? It's crazy that they said that. Like, I understand games are for gaming, you know? Like, every game is gaming. But you can have good gameplay and a story. Like, it's not like... I don't know. It just, it was crazy to me that they said what they said. And then it's even crazier to me that they, like, backed it up after I was like, that's a shit-ass take. And they were like, nah, you're a shit-ass take. And I was like, all right, you know what? Something I've learned over my years on the internet is if you argue with stupid, you are stupid. Like, you're never going to win an argument with stupid. So the best thing to do, first off, if you can ban them, just ban them. If you can't ban them, just say, okay, my bad. 
It's the best thing to do every time. I have no idea where this guy is, by the way. I was a bit delayed. I was a bit delayed of an alt. Although I will say, good accuracy. Oh, Aegis. All right. Holy light. This wow, I'm bad. That was that was a tragic amount of missing I just did. Doesn't matter because they still got the. Uh, I still got the Feeny. You know what I've been addicted to recently, other than cocaine? I'm just, just kidding about the cocaine, by the way. Um, is Pokey Rogue. I have been loving watching Pokey Rogue content. I'm making Shiv play Pokey Rogue because she's really good at Pokemon. She literally beat the classical run in Pokey Rogue on her second day of playing it. And then she beat it again on the third day. So she's just goaded. But, um, GG. I've been addicted to I'll see you guys next game. What's up, gamers? I'm back with another Medusa game. Oh, no. Why did I ban Bakasura instead of Morgan Le Fay? Oh, God. Okay. This is going to be a tough game. I'm simply starving. This is going to be a really tough Perhaps one. Perhaps it's time to find something... Delicious. A really, really Please tough one. Um, I'm going to have to invade this guy. I really don't want him to get the blue. If I can avoid it. I think he just saw me. I'm pretty sure he saw me because I saw his health bar, which means I, I assume that means that he saw me. Well, there he is going to red. I do think this is okay, to be honest with you. I do think this is good because he didn't get a buff. Him getting a buff is more important than me getting a buff because I'm a hunter. So I just like have auto attacks and stuff. He really needs the either extra power or the mana sustain. Okay, so let me see. I'm not trying to get the full blue. I want to lower it a bit. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He got his blue buff at the end of the day. He played it well and got his blue buff. But I get Griffin Wing and Red Buff, which means my burst damage is pretty fucking nuts. And I have alt. He did play the early game very well. I'm not going to lie to you. We have a, we have a game on our hands for sure here. Oh, that hit me. 
Um. I'm okay with this. I get rock too. I get rock and his ult. I really thought that auto would hit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, see, the thing is, he's not going life steal. I don't know what I should go. Uh, and I'll grab pestilence if I just must. because. I'll grab Pestilence just because he's going to go Chronos Pendant Breastplate. He's not going to do a lot of damage, but he is going to do a lot of abilities. And if all those abilities hit me, then it is a lot of damage. That hurts. Yeah, like that's that's insane. Damage. His God is very good. Big Aegis. Very nice. Very nice. Good Venom Spit. Um, I'm actually going to go Talisman. The reason I'm going Talisman is just because of movement speed. Um, I, and I'm probably going to start... I mean, none of these other items are actually good here. For me. I can just alt, and he can't put me off the rock. Pokes a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, this is very hard for him, actually. Oh. Oh, I... I wasted my beads there. I... For some reason, in my brain, I was like, I have shell, and I can shell, tank the tower shot, and pick up the orb, hit the tower, and live. Um, except I did none of that, <laughs> and then I just died, and wasted my relic while I'm at it. A bit unfortunate. He's doing his blue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the damage. I missed everything. That is, that is actually tragic. Okay, I missed literally everything. That is super tragic. Okay, I just got on. All right. I'm not gonna lie. He cooked me, but he didn't kill me. My it's exactly like I said before, you know, he's going to press a lot of buttons. If he lands all those buttons, I die. If not, I don't die. However, I do always have the option to run away from him while he's pressing said buttons, which I didn't say earlier. So I guess it's good to say now. I tried to pick up that, but I couldn't. that up again. Oh, big Aegis. Big Aegis. All right. You're next. Ha! 
Milky Horn sharded. is uh on like a 20 second cooldown man I, he ulted me three times that fight what is morgan lefay's alt cooldown holy fuck i just realized how many times he ulted me that fight oh my god Wait, that's insane. That's actually insane. Okay, you're the ult. I'm dead. I'm dead. Where's the ult? I'm just dead here. I think I'm dead here anyways, to be honest with you. Oh, that hit me, huh? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Dude, uh, I can't fight him. He got lifesteal now? I guess they just go XE, right? I really want crit though. Man, I can't fight him at all. I'm just getting cooldown diffed. As can be. I mean, I knew I'd get cooldown diffed, but holy fuck, I didn't think it'd be that bad. I guess there's a reason I always permaban Morgan the Fae, right? Messing up the ban is uh, tragic. Um, I think I'm just gonna take this. You can't hide from me. Your team has destroyed. I only took two tower shots for that. Zero. I'll take these. How much for this? 1400? I gotta farm a little bit more. My blue is down. I know it's down. No point in checking. Hello. Good trading for me, actually. Not bad for me. Alt for alt. And red buff is coming up. Lifesteal is crazy. He's just giving me it. Okay, I did not expect him to just give me that. <clears throat> All right, good for me. He's going to go for his blue buff, because why wouldn't he? And I will go for Xe, and then I've uh, crit chance. Just for this occasion. Xe and then crit chance. So I got some anti heal now. Let me get some crits going. Um.
Alright. Just gonna auto these guys for the healing. Can I just rip a bull demon? Nice, I can. Oh, wrong button. I landed three of my uh, my Viper shots there, which is actually pretty pretty impressive at that distance. I'm not gonna lie to you. Three for three on the Viper shots. It's a competitive game. I like this one. He's a good player on a very good god. Phoenix being down is very good for me, obviously. Um, I'm actually not going to push my luck here. I could probably push my luck and it hit the Titan a bit, but instead, I'm just going to go get my boomerang and get ready for a red buff fight. Boomerang and red buff. Get a 500 pot. I wonder if he's going to go any kind of anti crit. He's hiding in the corner over there. That was actually really good damage on the Titan there, I'm not gonna lie. Really good damage on the Titan and good buff control. I think Deathbringer is like 2900. So, you definitely got some time. 2800. Yeah. I can go finish at least the Deathbringer aspect of it. My At least the Deathbringer aspect of it. Not bad damage there. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. Yeah, that's about 700 damage. Nice little bull demon. Little free bull demon. That'll give me another Phoenix down. Nice. He ages to live. 
but uh my burst damage is too good he was gonna go spectral actually i think sturdy breastplate is yeah sturdy breastplate goes into spectral he was gonna go it that was a good one I, I thought you know i genuinely had a chance to lose that game there uh well played and i will see you guys in the next one well i guess i should have seen this one coming huh medusa is banned there she is right there being banned um the only thing i can do is to either play another ability based hunter i mean she's not even ability based right really play another hunter or i could just rip a hebo those are the options in the spirit of tilt i should probably play a hunter that can build similarly to medusa and still do well which is griffin wing aussie crit stuff like that um but also they need to have abilities so it's not like rom or something i guess hachi i guess i just do a little hachi gameplay He's similar to Medusa. His one is an auto attack enhancer. His two is a wave clear. His three is a movement ability. And his alt is a, is, it does damage. You know, there you go. That's Medusa. Right. Now I assume. I'm going to clean this place up. This is all fucky. Uh, I assume that. Now let's go. I just. Oh god, my mana. I really want blue buff here. But I also can't let him get it, so I have to invade again. I don't I don't think I win the level three fight at all. So I have to catch him off guard. Oh, he was at the red buff the whole time. Unfortunately. Ow, man. Holy. He just owned me. He does so much damage to me. I do pretty good damage to him too, though, to be fair. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, well, Your middle tower is under well, he went the whole cheesy, horrific wing shard strat. That's a little weird. Um, I did use my Aegis though, so I think... I actually get owned here. gonna be really far ahead of me here not really much i can do about it he just got first blood starting with bancrofts too so we just have to go pestilence and hold on for late game i guess just 
go pestilence and hold on for late game. And hope to God I can make it there. That's his wing shard down. This is wing shard down, and he is going more uh more life still here. Brother, your life steals more than than ideal. thousand gold and triple buff control I can't get those blue buff in time okay so not triple buff control then I'm just down double buff still bad It doesn't really matter the damage I deal, does it? If he's just like if he's just got double life deal out of him. Well, I did not mean to do that. The second he he runs a wave, he just pulls like full heals. He was just waiting around the corner that entire game, by the way, for that entire time. Which is like super criminal. Alright. Well, you get rock, but I'll get XP camp then. XP camp is better than rock. Just in terms of like gold and XP. Obviously, fighting potential is better to have rock, but like he's already one hitting me, so he doesn't need extra fighting potential. I think. So I actually think him trying to gank me for rock was a really, really bad play. Gives me a little bit of a, a catch up. Not much, but like, you know, 20% more than he got. He's already got some defense online, which is fine. But he can do bull demon whenever he damn well pleases because he is cracking. I assume he's doing it now. Nope. He's fine. Oh, okay. I'll just run. I will just run then. Under 
I saw an animation, but it didn't. The animation's not animationing anymore. Maybe it was his backing animation I saw right at the end. It's gonna be a, a damn near impossible game to come back from. If I come back from this, it's like I'm making fucking miracles happen. Um, I kind of want to just go Xy and not go Aussie, but Aussie will help a lot, so I should go Aussie. Good damage on him there, but not enough. Okay. He's just gonna go do Bull Demon now. Fine by me. I couldn't stop it ever, anyways. It's honestly a little weird that he went Bull Demon. Um, because my tower is very easy to take if he just sits on tower line. I can't I can't hurt him. He's got double life steal and I don't have enough defense or damage. I mean if he's gonna let me clear the wave, then that bull demon did nothing for him. Okay. Crazy push. I believe I am dead here. Hmm. Yeah. And he gets tower. Damn. I just do no damage, man. I do literally nothing to him. That is so unfortunate. The fact that he just pushed me out of my own, like, thorns damage is crazy, by the way. Like, uh, uh, it's so stupid he can do that. Like, toss me away, like, no thanks. Um. Rock won't help anything right now. Hasten ring. That item is getting removed next patch. red come up never never is the answer i will go anti-heal on the xe as well just to apply some anti-heal beforehand If 
If I can get some crit chance online, like if I can get a full another item, I might actually have a chance here. Come on, dead. That was a really good play by me with the uh with the uh the alts to avoid the one that I knew he was gonna go for. Uh backing is important here. Mine he's full health again, apparently. Good damage though. Holy. This is more Stopping his back is important because it gives me red buff here, I think. Oh my god, I cooked him. I cooked him, dude. Dodge the alt with the three. Get that full anti-heal online with the with the XE. And landed all those autos back to back to back to back. God damn I cooked. Alright. That might just be a Feeny. That might just be a Feeny. Maybe not. Is not a thing. But god damn was it good damage. I wonder if he's going bull demon here. He might have. He might have. I mean he might have just been watching me. I think he is going bold demon here. I think he's probably just like around the corner watching me back. This is he wasn't. They do have boomerang now. There's his blink and his alt, which is very, very important for me. Mm. He's going Toxic Blade, which Toxic Blade is also being removed from the game. I really want red buff. Okay. I'm just dead. Is it toxic blade? Can he get my Phoenix here? Does he do damage? Oh my God. Yeah, he does. Wait, he wins the game here. I think probably. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't do that much damage. He's going to poke it. Oh, never mind. He's going to win the game. 
I lost. I definitely have just lost. I can't do anything about that. He, uh, he very simply just walks into my Titan and Krakens it. I don't have thorns up. Like, I, I really know. Plan to fight here. If he's honorable, then maybe I don't lose here. But I don't know. I am playing dual. Think. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my God. Three long range autos back to back to back, all crits. Do I win off that? Oh my god, I do. Wow. I thought for sure I lost this game. three back-to-back -back autos and he had a minion up and it just didn't hit the minion it just hit him oh my god that was crazy i can't believe i won that game i shouldn't have well no i should i mean clearly i should have i won the fight but my goodness all right ggs see you guys next game man what is with everyone in banning medusa she's banned again this is supposed to be a tilt I guess I'll just play Hachiman again. I mean, clearly I'm not very good with him, but I worked last game for some reason, so I'll do it again. <laughs> um, man. Crazy. Rank 8 Shiva. All right. All right. I definitely like this matchup more than the last. I'm not going to lie to you. I will not lie to you. This is definitely a better matchup for me. Because he has to get close to bonk me. And he doesn't have infinity movement speed. Or an alt that will one hit me. In fact, he doesn't even really have an alt. I'll be honest. I will say though, level 3, he'll kick my ass. So I need to make sure I'm looking at him. I don't know if he doesn't have thorns if he if he bought like well i don't know if he has horrific he'll still beat my ass oh god he's coming oh lord i hit him for 28 by the way my god he got thorns chalice and <laughs> okay, that's cringe. You cannot tank my wave. You'll you'll be owned. Alright. Honestly a pretty good trade for me because he has so much HP that, uh, that that trade is high quality. His potions aren't going to heal as much as mine look like they're doing. Although mine aren't doing that much. <laughs> it's not feeling that high quality, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I want you to hit me, please. He didn't hit me.
Yeah, so he has infinite mana, so he's definitely better off here than I am. Oh, um, man, he got the minis from the red buff, right? So does he have five here? Yeah, he does. But I also do. I'm going to back. With this power, I may just be strong. And he also backed. The reason I know that is because I had one minion surveilling for me. Shout out to that minion. I'm just going to go blue up here. I feel like my mana... Kind of stinky. Wait, did he also go blue buff even though he started Blackthorn? Because I just heard red buff in my right ear. He's right there. He did. That is such a misplay. He should have gone red buff there instead of blue buff. Because he has infinite mana. That blue buff really isn't doing much. I mean, it's giving him a little bit of cooldown, I guess. But <laughs> oh, that's really funny. He went to go heal and just, <laughs> just died to the auto. That is actually really funny. So for those of you who don't play Hachimon, by the way, the reason I'm standing in my two, um, or using my two when it's not actually doing damage and it's just like there on the ground is because you actually get movement speed by standing in your two you get movement speed by casting it but you also get movement speed by standing in it i'm dead oh never mind all right good turn dude good turn auto It said an archer killed him. But I had no archers around me. Oh, that is tragic. Right, he just waited out until he could dash again. That's fine. I'm chilling, man. So far, this feels like a very chill game compared to last one. Oh, if he was a little faster on the dash, he would have died. What was killed? It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. I forget that he has like Blackthorn and defense and he's a warrior. So even though it looks like he has 14 health, it's actually like still 400, you know, it's still a shit ton of HP. Not bad. He's probably also doing his blue. Oh, uh, the question is, do I want the sustain of Aussie or do I just want the damage of XE? Um, Actually, Aussie has really good damage on it now, too, right? Because it's got 10 base pen. I can just sit in here and fight you. I think I'm deceased here. I am deceased here. When I dashed in, I did see my fate. Yeah, this has 10 base pen on it now, so it's actually really good. So I just go that plus Berserker Shield. No biggie. I'm gonna go XE after. Your middle tower is under attack. No, I do know that Shiva does a lot of damage, but like I feel 
Even though he does a lot of damage, I kind of feel like I'm not going to lose. Like, I feel like it's impossible for me to lose here. Which obviously is a very egotistical position to be in. Like, you should never feel immune to losing. And yet, here I am. He's very tanky. My goodness. Um, I'm pretty sure Berserker Shield is 1650, right? 1600, okay. He canceled his ult. Oh. I shot my ult so quick that it hit the corner of the wall. Oops. I mean, it didn't matter, obviously. Oh, seven minutes under. All right. I'll take that. I will see you guys in the next game then. Okay. Well, they banned the Medusa again. I will show the evidence real quick just to make sure that everyone knows I'm not lying. Um, I assume it's the same person as last game. Uh, he obviously expected me to go Hachiman and counterpicked me with Osiris. Unlucky because I cannot beat that. But we'll see. Maybe I can. Maybe I'm just the goaded player of all time and I can win any matchup now. Or will this be the end? Will this finally be the end? Um. I think I might need beads. Nah, fuck it. You cannot dodge. Right, Osiris definitely doesn't need mana buff. He's definitely going to start red. And I really don't want him to start red, so I'm going to I'm going to invade red. Perfect. I just really didn't want him to have red buff. Red buff Osiris sounds miserable to deal with early game. Um, he did start with the horrific. Are you gonna go blue buff here or are you You are going blue buff. I don't think you can take that though. No way, that is crazy. That is crazy, dude. That is actually crazy that his stun happened right when my ult ended. Oh, man. It's also insane that he lived. A sliver of HP lives two auto attacks, a 90 damage thorns, and a 145 damage ult. I get double buff control and pressure, and I'm, I'm still losing because of that. What an insane play. Blackthorn is just an insanely goaded item. Holy shit. I can't believe he lived that. How much HP do you have? 1300 already? What the? Alright. 
I think I'm just gonna go Aussie first. This game. The forest rewards. Yeah, I definitely did not want mana pot. Just gonna go Aussie first this game. He's getting the XP camp because he can. Um you I genuinely cannot believe that. That's insane. I already got him. My treasure chests. Where are you? Well, sure do be spawning. He's definitely not going to let me have this, right? It was relic for relic, alt for alt, but I got the buff. Always worth it in my mind. Literally ten out of ten times. If I'm if I'm breaking even and getting an advantage off of it, always worth it. Are you kidding me? You might hurt me here. I don't think your hurt actually does anything though. Because I don't think you can all in, so I'm just gonna go back. My Aussie. Get some pots. I'm very scared. I also think I just forgot to talk for like 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure I didn't say a word since this game started. But, oh well, I guess. <laughs> Clearly I'm trying my best. This is a terrible matchup to be in, but I'm trying my best. Oh. Rock? I could definitely die here. I should not have used my three. Oh, my damage is really good, though. I'm, I'm just dead. No point in playing the game because he's Osiris. Unlucky, I guess. Unlucky, I guess. I can't believe that alt hit me, by the way. That was like the most fucking ridiculous alt I've ever seen in my life. The fact that that landed on me should be considered a fucking war crime. Yeah, fuck me all you want. I don't give a fuck. My tower's already dead at this point. Nothing you do to me is going to change that. Bro, he takes no damage. 81?
Bro, he just does so much damage, though. I can't let him get red buff. Red buff will just straight up kill me. Red buff will straight up kill me. Uh, the treasure chest should spawn, right? Yeah, there they are. Really want this blue buff. I'm not going to be able to get this blue buff. You got Equinox too. I actually think Equinox is a completely terrible item now. They nerfed it so many times. I think I have a good chance to win this game, maybe. This build is really bad. All my limbs are safe. All right, I have to go beads. Um... He's getting bull demon. Can't really stop him. Oh, he's not getting bull demon. Okay. Oh, I canceled my one on accident. Four autos did two seventy. Oh, okay. I mean... Okay. <laughs> That's brain dead, dude. That's literally brain dead. I countered everything he did. He he put his stun up and horrific at the same time. I beats perfectly to avoid both. But because he ulted, he just has... Uh, Fatalis effect and walks me down. I mean... And he's triple defense. I guess he's double defense, but Equinox kind of counts as a defense item. I don't know, man. This is the end of it. And it is simply because Medusa's banned every game and I have to play Hachi and he just counterpicks me. About a 500 pot. Dude, I do no damage at all. I have to steal Bull Demon if I want a chance to win this game, to be honest. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm staring straight at Bull Demon. And I can't, I can't see that happen. Okay. Alright. Cool. Interesting, Smite. I had him for 75, by the way. So. 94 with Exe proc. I'm gonna need Oboe. I'm going to need Oboe, and I'm going to need Kins. Oh, 
No. I mean, I just can't kill the minions. Never mind. I can't even get through the minions. I mean, dude, I don't know what to do. He just counterfeited me. Whatever. I mean, the video is called Tilt. Fuck this game.